All right, hello and welcome back to Ace Combat 7. Uh, I'm pretty close to finishing it, just five missions left. Then we got the SP missions, special missions or whatever. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, yeah, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles at the same time. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. But now, those were gone. Yep, that's what happens when you do All something stupid. Was chaos and confusion. <laughs> Government and civilian broadcasts and transmissions were cut off. The flow of information had ceased. Forces on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. And well, that's what happens when shit goes south. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Communications from corporate were cut off. Apparently, the entire computer network was down. It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. Even with their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making, though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. I saw a plane flying off in the distance. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. In other words, the princess girl's plane. Perusia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. All of Yuzia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Arusia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned, and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Arusian army. With the capital under our control, Arusia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. Yay? 
The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay. Oh dear. He joined up with support dispatch from the Ocean Army. The plan is that they'll take a standard oh, right. to a yes, escort point mission. In the east Fuck. Part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. I would like the new Strider squadron to provide escort for the officer. <sighs> Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. I However, don't mean they won't try. That Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays oh, safe. Oh no, I remember a real Our problem with this mission. Has given us a oh, fuck. Opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. I'm not going to spoil the bullshit, but... Our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent communications failure. Yeah. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. Yeah. That fucking sucks! God damn. Man. Fucking hate that part. Mm, gotta move a few things. As I move myself. Okay, let's begin. Ah, uh, man. What the hell plane should I take for this one? Well, I haven't had much of a chance of using this one, which is the newest DLC plane. That's a burst missile, both air and ground, an EM, and a laser. Mm, I don't really want any of those. Uh, uh, Alright, let's go with... Strike Wyvern. That's what I feel like using. If I can fucking find it. There we go. Nope, that's Strike Eagle. Here we go. Strike Wyvern. No, nope, that's the anti ship. That's a railgun. That's still not what I want. Strike Eagle? No. But I'm looking for one of the fucking aircraft with the good missiles. Fuck, I need to look at the damn aircraft tree. Because I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> ah, I'm looking for the Raptor. That's what I was looking for. Right. Gotta get the raptor. Oh, I'm literally sitting on the raptor now. Quite ironic. Yeah, I want them good missiles. Confirm the skin is, yep. Man, I only got 18 of those good missiles, fuck. All right, uh, I think I'm all good. Let's go, go, go. Strider Squadron, you're cleared to taxi. <sighs> so I'm going to try and record all... Oh, there's only four. No, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, yeah, five. I'm going to try and record all five today. Then maybe, maybe more Diablo later. I don't know. I really got to try and finish Diablo. Or maybe Mass Effect. The unidentified Ocean craft. This is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. Are you really friendlies? Over. This is Longcaster. Airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Okay, I hope you're right. 
Longcaster, are all of these really unknowns? It's a state of civil war. The Erosion army is fighting itself. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us in this confusion. And there lies the problem. Unknowns caught in your camps to identify friend or foe. The process will be faster if you get a close-up, well-centered image. Meanwhile, we just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before you fire. Damn it, it's so hard to figure out too. Something I'll never get used to, but tonight has been a total shock. The city under martial law. Gunfire and the roar of jets echoing through the streets. Heavy Strider Squadron's IDs. Oh, and uh, hand me that sandwich. God damn it. Damn it, stupid bridge. Oh, I can't see shit at this angle. I hate this mission. I forgot how bad it was. Fuck. Oh, I forgot how awful this mission was. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. Lancaster. Are all of these really unknowns? It's a state of civil war. The Erosion army is fighting itself. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us in this confusion. We'll image process the unknowns caught in your camps to identify friend or foe. The process will be faster if you get a close-up, well-centered image. Meanwhile, just one of them shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before you fire. Right, let's just go far. War is something I'll never get used to, but tonight has been a total shock. The city under martial law. Gunfire and the roar of jets echoing through the streets. Give me Strider Squadron's IDs. Oh, and uh, hand me that sandwich. Damn it, now I can't even know where I am. What's wrong with drones? Whether you're a patriot or not, you're just too stubborn to change with the times. Entering the uh. area. Buildings will block your line of sight. Make sure to keep track of your objective. How this war ends depends on this mission. I'm counting on you. Understood. Strider 1, target destroyed. Strider Squadron, identify the unknowns along the route. I'm trying, for fuck's sake. Destroyed. We can't see the top 
damage. The roofs are down here. Be on the lookout for enemy ambushes. They actually uh. Get these damn planes ID. I know there's stuff along this area. Come on, come on, come on! Well, yeah, don't they know nowhere is safe? Our 
Nicole. fall has led to another power struggle within the Nicole. Ocean military. Nicole. It's all gone to hell. Nicole. Even radio chatters about the Civil War. Nicole. Radio? Do you have one in your cockpit? Yeah, ever since my previous squadron. Nicole. I've got it taped. Nice and secure. Oh, man. Forces at landfill number seven. This is AWACS Longcaster. We're about to cross Anchor Bridge. There'll be nowhere to hide. That was something. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm coming. Fucking and hard. Oh shit. Alright, let's run around and take care of these damn gunboats. God damn, I hate this mission. Okay, I somehow missed the Sam. Start identifying these dudes then. Yeah, on fucking me. Holes. Come on, get behind. Come on! You've entered the clouds. We were nearly done for. I couldn't have asked for a better timing. You were not nearly done for. Come on, give me both. Is part of the infighting within these groups. 
Hawks. Our squadron serves General Labaz and we're acting based on our patriotic duty. We've reached the industrial zone. This should be the new rendezvous point. Come on. The coordinates are up ahead. Take out any enemies in the surrounding area. Okay. But I gotta fucking figure out if they are enemies first. Identify. There we go. We've reached the rendezvous point. There's the chopper too. Oh, is that it? Thank fucking god. We turn to in this darkest hour. We need a beacon of light to show us the way. This is the Arugian News Network. Okay, let's go. Getting out of here. I've had just about enough of this place. I'd like to offer my thanks to the LRSSG. I should finally bring about a true end to the war. Understood. Good luck. Oh, there's a plane. I see it. Multiple unidentified aircraft approaching. This plane is carrying civilians. We have escort fighters, but we do not intend to engage in combat. Please stand down. Try to get a little closer. Weapon use is prohibited. What's going on? Dr. Schroeder! Whoa, whoa. There's a girl on board? He's not lying about carrying civilians. No. Unless she's a soldier. Well, that's just IF. Identify. Weapon use is prohibited. We've checked footage. It does seem to be a transport with escorts. I repeat, this craft is carrying civilians. We are not here to fight. Dr. Schroeder, tell me what's happening. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, but do not attack the civilian liaison. Get a good shot. Bandit destroyed. Well done. I'm on my target's tail. They're in my way. Gotcha. Need one more hit. Oh, I should be using my good missiles. Nice kill. Good work. All hostile aircraft eliminated. The liaison 
Man, I totally forgot about my good missiles. comes actual drones. Additional hostiles in Great timing. Son of a bitch. Shit, what a waste. Even though my normal missiles could one-shot these, it's more about the accuracy than anything. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. What? Aw oh, man, these missiles usually guarantee hits. Alright. I'm fucking coming in at a huge angle. Oh, thank you for coming right into my sight. FF stuff is. Totally forgot how bad it is. I think it only lasts for like two missions and then it's done. But still, fuck me. Well, that wasn't good. In order to respond to the attack on the base, Cyclops has scrambled after being on standby. We'll head up too once our planes are ready. Oh, and Labarth is dead. What did you say? Apparently, he was shot down by another Ocean aircraft after he left the area of operations. I mean, I know it was chaos, but still. At any rate, the sealed order operation has come to a close. We have no idea about a plan for going forward. All we can do for now is watch our own backs. What's up with the commander? He's staying in his room. He's still alive, since we can hear him crying. Uh, okay... Uh, well, I hope people enjoyed this episode. 
Later.